Hey y'all, I'm James. I'm Kimberly. We're Camper Size Living. If you've been following along, you know that our camper was totaled. We're doing much better now. And we've got the truck ready to go. So we are out looking for RVs right now. We kind of had a rainy day here, so we thought we would stop into Camping World. Yeah. So we're not here to get a new camper. Right, no way. <laughs> We're not really holding out a whole lot of hope that they're going to have what we're looking for. Our budget is pretty small. Right. But I do think we want to have some experience walking through used units. Yep. This will give us a chance to hopefully look at some used units and some different floor plans that are available. Mm -hmm. Kind of look for things that could be wrong. Um, and uh, we'll take you guys along with us. Yeah. Let's go see what they have. Yeah. Should be fun. Okay, so we were going to try and go look at the new Grey Wolf bunkhouses, just like ours. They look like they got some cool improvements to them. Uh, one thing you can see, the whole front door looks like it's glass. Yeah, it's cool looking. Really cool looking, but unfortunately they got them all locked up. I'm not sure why, so we're going to go back here. It looks like we got maybe some used models back this way. Um, here's a 2014, 2017. So we're going to check out some of these and see what we can find. Looks like most of them are locked up back here as well, but we did find this one. It's a Wildcat 2018, and it is a the Wildcat Ultralight. So looks like it's got a big slide there. All right, so this is a rear living model. It's got a control panel there. Looks like a rolling island. Hopefully it's rolling. That's a bad place for it if it's not. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Got the corner unit for the TV and then recliners and a couch. Yeah, there we go. A medium sized fridge. That would take a little getting used to it. It's a little bigger than our fridge is, or was. Was. It's a little bigger than our fridge was. No, why wouldn't our vent fit around ours? Because the microwave was different size. So in ours, we took the microwave out and we put in, what kind of oven was that? Like a Galanz. Galanz, yeah. Convection air fryer combo. Makes the best cookies you ever had. Uh, we could never hardly get the propane oven. If you full-time RV or have tried using the propane oven, you can, you can get things to bake pretty well in there, but a lot of times you got to flip them over or what have you. But that convection oven was awesome. So yeah, it was we have that to put in our next rig for sure. It also does the microwave function as well. I like this type of lighting better than these type. These can be so obnoxious. Lots of cabinets, lots of ceiling. That ceiling goes down towards the back, but it's still lots of headroom. Here's a shower. Looks like people have been testing it out. Got a wasp there too. Little towel hooks. Got some damage. You're gonna have some stuff like that with a used RV. That red on the plug there. I'm going to assume that that red on the plug is because they had winterized it. So let's look at the bedroom. So it's got an actual swinging door, not the sliders like we had. Um, it does have a slide out in the bedroom that contains the closets and a nice big full mirror here with, with room to stand there and look at it too. Cool. Closets. And a little, I'm not sure what you do here. All right, it's probably about a 10 inch step, right? You go to climb up here to go to the bed. It's like, look how high up I step. And I can stand like that. That would be, you could work with that, but it wouldn't be super awesome. So uh, probably, this one's probably out of our price range anyway, but um, 
it probably wouldn't work too good. On this side, you gotta kinda walk the wire to get into bed there. That little nightstand would be okay, but trying to squeeze back in there, and especially with this bump there, might be a challenge. Okay, well, that's the first one we're looking at. I don't see anything indicating price, but Wildcat Ultralight, that's what that was. One slide on this side, and then two on this side. That's your bedroom cabinets and so forth, and your living room slide, and then storage and stuff underneath. Kimberly just talked to the salesman here. So these are the only four fifth wheels that they have. We just looked at the Used. Used fifth wheels. Right, used. Pre-owned. Pre, Pre-owned. Okay, right. Um, they probably didn't use it, they just owned it. This one is a Sierra 2019. I got a sneak peek, it's really nice. It's probably way out of our budget, but it's really <laughs> nice. Let's go check it out. Wow, look at those two big slides and an outdoor kitchen. Yeah, look at the kitchen. Look at that outdoor kitchen. Oh man, and another back entry door right here. Wow. Yeah, and it looks like a mount for a swing out grill right here. If you can see that. That's an arm swings out. Probably a grill or something could go on there. Wow, there's a lot of storage in that outdoor kitchen. And Kimberly is all giddy about the inside. You ready? You ready? Yes. What a wide door. Okay. First off, wide guys like me that eat well appreciate a wide door like this. Look at this. We might let you see this. Look how much room I got here. Can't even see the door on the sides of me. Look at that, that's awesome. Look at this. Look at all this headroom in here. This it's is crazy. So all right. That is a huge fridge. Look at that. That is a residential style fridge right there. My gosh. What's this, like a wine rack up here? Uh-huh. Well, Drawer. Oh man, there's water and goop in that drawer. That's what pre-owned can look like sometimes. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at. I was talking about the lighting in the other, oh. other one. Look at these here. James. Uh oh, what do we got over here? Look at that. Look. Couch and a TV. Look at all this. I can't believe the storage in the fifth wheels, huh? Oh, there it is. This is what's been missing in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Washer and dryer. That'd be awesome. And then you got a closet there. So I think something else. So that last one. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look, at I can buy more shoes. There's Autumn's room right there. Look. <laughs> Autumn could fit in there. We'll put a little mattress in there. She doesn't need to fit in there. Go look at her room. Yeah, there's another room. So here's the thing here. So this is a little narrow here. Um, that would be more workable. This is only a queen, so there's not a lot of room left. We got this really cool shelf here. That would be really useful. And then you got lots of room on that side of the bed. And you have windows that both open on each side of the Yes. Bed. They're little, but that, that makes the difference. If I ever, when, when we buy another camper, I'm... I'm hoping <laughs> we used to say if we ever <laughs> um that they'll have two windows that open on each side of the bed just to get the cross breeds right yeah because like our bedroom the window opened on one side and they weren't back in where your head is at and so it, you get real sweaty it was like the air just stayed there yeah yeah it made it made your head real but look sweaty at, this also has an ac unit right here in the Ooh bedroom it's yeah, good for me. This is nice. Yeah. So one of the things that, that Wildcat that we just looked at had, did not have was a slide in the bedroom. So you didn't have all this walk around room that we have here. Mm -hmm. um, and this is actually smaller mm -hmm. among like bedrooms. Right. It's got a big closet though. Right. Big closet. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, if you wanted the more room, you could bump that closet back but a little we bit. we wouldn't do that. No, we would No, we wouldn't do that. <laughs> but but having the bed in a slide based on the ones that we've looked at in the past i think if we have an opportunity to get that at the right price that would be something we would like to have not a not a must have but a 
it'd be a nice to have. Mm -hmm. But you got a spot for a TV and nice dresser and how much more storage is there in here than there is oh, in ours? Man. Right. It's gonna, we're not even going to be able to fill half the right. storage spaces. Yeah, we're going to have a bunch of empty cabinets and stuff if we get a, a decent sized fifth wheel. Back in the kitchen. Come down from the bedroom. Oh, we didn't look at the bathroom. It's pretty standard. Pretty standard? Mm -hmm. You know what? It doesn't have the hinge that pivots the door, so you have to get all the way out of the door. Some of them, the door will pivot here so it kind of goes half in and half out of the bathroom that's a good size though and look how uh the shower pan the shower pan on ours was probably what six inches off the ground the shower pan on this one is right on the ground so it actually buys me a lot more height film would it be like <laughs> okay so i can stand all the way up in this without using the skylight Ours, I had to about put my head up into the skylight, and then I had to duck like that to, to do a shower because I lost this much on the ground. But something like this, where the pan's on the ground, I'm good, even if the shower's up here in the shorter part of the RV. I like the corner shelves. Yeah. Very nice. And then the bench seat. Yeah, yeah right here, so you can shave your legs. Right. <laughs> I imagine. I don't know. All right, let's go check out the bunk room. Look at even that's yellowing already on um, that that plastic on the fan. Yeah, and this is a 18? 19. A 19, yeah, you can already see it kind of yellowing there. Good size mirror again there. Some more storage here behind the shower. That's awesome. And then more underneath the sink. Good bit. Cool. Yeah, that's something that in the price range we're at, we're probably going to be considerably older than this. We're fine with uh, going older, which we'll, we'll need to do with our budget, but uh, we understand that instead of making payments on a rig, we will be making repairs. <laughs> so we'll be <laughs> replacing things. plastics and um, stuff like that that gets brittle, and we'll be updating uh, and things like that. So I was looking to see if this was a convection. Is it? It is not. It is not. That is lots of room for a convection. That is a ginormous microwave. A little storage on there. It's got Bunch this of drawers. Step, this lip here. Oh, for the slide? Here. Yeah, you'd have to get used to that, wouldn't you? Yeah. So she's, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, there's a little, little step right there from the slide. A pantry. Mm-hmm. How big are these right here in front of you? Yeah, they're big. Oh yeah, you got a lot of room in there. And that one's the same down there? Yep. Sink. And uh, that's a stainless steel sink too. That's not plastic, so that's really cool. And I like that it's got the table and chairs. Everything right here is removable yep. and customizable. Right. But it also looks good. Yeah, I wouldn't so. change any of that. Yeah, you could. I would probably bring my office chair in right here or something. It gets hard. Um, sitting on a kitchen chair for hours and hours of editing so i haven't been doing hours and hours of editing in these last couple of videos because i don't have all my stuff out but uh, hopefully we can get back to that and i'll need need a good chair you also gain lots of storage because of the height and oh the there you straps go to strap down the chairs sweet and they already got the d-rings we, uh -huh. we actually installed some of those in our rig and i can actually in our other slide it was up about six inches off the ground too, just like the shower was. So it wasn't level with the floor. So that really isolated the area. You, you had to fit whatever chairs or furniture you were putting in the slide, in the slide and your feet. So it really, you know, because it was six inch drop from there. Um, but in here you can see, I can stand in this slide and it's darn near level with the floor. Oh my gosh. What in the world? We're trading. We're trading Autumn for her oh, room. Not. Look at this. Goodness, that looks full length. Now it's missing the couch or whatever they had under there, but that's fine. She can put a. She wants a bean bag. Yeah. Okay. That looks like that might be full length. But. I don't know. It, it looks like it might be a little short for Autumn. She's tall. How tall is Autumn? 5'11. 5'11. She needs a full length twin or. Doesn't have to be a twin, but. 
Yeah, it's got the throw light, right? Yep, so the outdoor kitchen's under there. Wow, look at that. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if you all can see this. Let me see if I can turn the light on here. Okay, we got the light on. Look at that. Yeah, that is a huge amount of storage there. Are these drawers that big, too? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Wow, six of those. It's so like do you a think mansion they took out back a fireplace? Here. I bet they took a fireplace out of here. I bet they did too. Look at that. Doesn't that look like they took a fireplace out from under there? That means you could put one back in there. Perfect. Bring the price down. But wait, there's more. Look at this. There's another door. What's behind the other door? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at that. Is that porcelain? That is. That's a porcelain. Mmm. That's a porcelain top toilet. The bottom part of the pedestal is not. Um, but, oh my gosh, it's got a shower in here too, huh? So Autumn would have her own bathroom and shower. And her shower is taller than mine. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh wait, it's, it's got big stuff up. Yeah, but look. Here, show the nice people at home. Look it. <laughs> look it. I could dance in here. What in the world? Oh, bring the price down. No oxygenic shower head. That's a no-go. Gotta have the oxygenic shower head. Even with a step up. Like I could do jumping jacks in here almost. I would need my curved shower curtain rod. Yeah. Also. Wow, that's awesome. Really, I'm thinking about moving in back here. All right, and then uh, another entry door to the bathroom into Autumn's bedroom. I don't know, we should probably put an alarm on that door, huh? <laughs> okay, very cool. Oh, let's move in. When do we move in? <laughs> Soon enough. Yeah, this is nice. This would be all of our needs. It checks all the boxes. It really does. Now we just need to find something like this that's, oh, 10 years older than this. And uh, gently used and loved. It's out there. We've seen them. We've seen them. Look at the pretty light. Yes. I love these like aftermarket lighting and like those up there versus the <gasps> this would be nice. versus the puck lighting. I don't like the puck lighting at all. I like the outlets in the island. Outlets in the island right there. Your, I'm assuming that's probably your carbon monoxide detector. Your smoke detector. You got a ceiling fan. Yep. The ceiling fan will be amazing to have. Yep. The carbon monoxide detector is very important. And it's far enough away from my bathroom where it won't go off when I spray my hairspray. Right. We accidentally turned one of the stove knobs on a travel day. We had the slide in, so everything was real tight. And one of our times passed it, we bumped it and we stopped at a gas station. I went back in the camper to get something and that thing was just screaming and you could smell the propane. That was very scary. But it did let me know that it works. Right. <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it worked. And um, so we knew right away, don't do not do anything else. We just opened it up, got the propane cut off and mm -hmm. um, you know, accidents happen like that. So it's nice to have an alarm like that and we were able to get it aired out and everything was okay. So, something just like this would work, mm -hmm. but older. And they're out there. I don't know. They are. We've seen them. We've seen them, and we will find one. So, and we appreciate all of you that have sent suggestions yeah. and listings and yeah. whatnot. Yes. Been very cool. So, we're looking. We're going to bring you along with us. We'll go check out a couple more, and if there's anything interesting, we'll show you. So something else this camper has, um, the Sierra, that we didn't talk about on the way in, but I absolutely love are these steps, right? They're the solid steps. They go all the way to the ground, and uh, they're so sturdy and good for big guys like me or folks that have, you know, disabilities. They don't want the bouncing of the steps and that kind of thing. Uh, I've not had those in a camper, but I've used them several times and love them. And look at this. Vanna, what do you have over here? 
I have a ginormous storage area. Holy moly, that's as big as the whole truck where we keep all our stuff right now. So you got your spare tire in there, and access to some of your water lines. You got an outlet and a TV hook up there. Um, with the bumper pole, you don't have any storage like that, um, but we used our yeah. truck with the ugly topper. <laughs> What'd you find? Wires and cords. Oh, hydraulic lines it looks like. Um, but we used our ugly topper in our, in our pickup truck as our garage. So all the stuff that was in there obviously can't go in the bed of a pickup truck if we're hauling with a fifth wheel. So it would go in a basement like that. So that'd be cool. No more ugly brown topper that we've been extremely thankful for, but it uh, doesn't make the truck look like a beauty queen for sure. Oh yeah, a lot more room for storage. Oh my gosh. Look at all that. Hooks up there. And propane in here. Two 30 wow. pounders. Now that's nice, but I've always gone with 20 pounders. Just because they last a pretty long time and they're easy to uh, easy to swap out if wherever you're at and that paid off for us in texas when we were in the ice storm i was able to take my 20 pounder in the day before the electricity went out i said it's almost empty let's turn it in and get a new one just in case and sure enough we needed it so uh, if i had a 30 pounder i might have still been able to trade it in but i lost that 30 pounder so and then the other side of the storage with all your water hookups and all of that that we'll get to figure out later battery disconnect okay so uh this jayco is a rear living so that doesn't really help us out it's not something where we love them but that won't work for us and then this one over here uh the seismic i think is what it is that one's sold so the only two used ones they had still for sale that would uh, i believe the wildcat actually was a rear living too but we didn't know that when we went in um, so we're not going to look at these other two, um, but thank you for coming along. We'll keep you updated as we look at other RVs. Yeah. If you found value in this video, please consider subscribing and hit the bell for notifications on RV related tours, upgrades, repairs, and adventures. Thanks for coming along. We'll catch up with you next time.